this is the era where government and policy makers realize that mere reading, writing and arithmetic is not sufficient and one has to go beyond that. Thus, the concept of functional literacy was emerged during 1960s. Let us see the learning objectives of this module. The first objective includes analyze the impact of national policy and education and identify the objectives of national literacy mission. Before going into the details of what is functional literacy, let us see the background of functional literacy. How this functional literacy concept has come at the world level and what impact it had on particularly adult education in India. A number of meetings and conferences were held at the global level as well as at the national level. It had influence on the concept of adult education in India. The first world conference was held by UNESCO in Denmark in the year 1949. It mainly focused on the role of adult education, especially in the development of society, polity and economy. The second world conference on adult education was held in Canada in the year 1960. It has emphasized on the linkage of adult education and productivity, how it affects the work and overall development of the nation. The third world conference on education ministers on eradication of illiteracy which was held in Tehran in the year 1965. It emphasized on the linkage of adult education and productivity, work and development. The main focus of this conference was on functional literacy. All these conferences and various meetings held at the global level as well as within the country had a great impact on adult education program in India and thus the concept of functional literacy came into practice. Let us see the concept of functional literacy. William Gray he defined functional literacy in the year 1956. According to him, functional literacy means a person is functionally literate when he has acquired the knowledge and skills in reading and writing, which enable him to engage in all those activities in which literacy is normally assumed in his culture or group. The definition given by Mr. William Gray was accepted 